Hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again. Thank you very much for all your support on my previous videos. And for those who are visiting my channel for the first time, my name is Vinay and I love to talk about photography and its best practices. And today I am going to talk about DJI Osmo Mobile 2. When we talk about DJI, we all know that this is one of the biggest drone manufacturers of the world. Who does not know about DJI Phantom and DJI Mavic Pro? The technology they provide in their drones for camera stabilization, the same technology they have provided with this device DJI Osmo Mobile 2, which is basically a gimbal for your smartphone. The good thing is that it can work with any smartphone. If you have recently bought this device or if you are planning to buy this, this video can be very helpful for you. However, I am not going to talk about the basic operations of this device. I am going to talk about one of the strongest features of this device that is known as Active Track, where the gimbal makes your camera to track a particular moving object and the camera tries to put that object in the middle of the screen. So it's very helpful to make certain kind of videos. So please keep watching this video till the end since I am going to describe the process, how to use this feature and uh, how it works. But before we go ahead, please subscribe to my channel so that we could stay connected in future as well. So let's start. So this is uh, DJI Osmo Mobile 2 that comes with a very attractive and solid case. Let's see how does it look like inside. So this is the device. Inside the box you will find a charging cable and the device itself. So uh, this is how this gimbal looks like. We have three buttons in front and uh, we have a charging point also which can be used to charge your mobile phone. And this is where we need to put our mobile phone. So let me put my phone into the gimbal and we will see the process of using ActiveTrack feature. So here I have installed my phone into the gimbal. Let's see that how ActiveTrack feature works. Here the gimbal is ready with the phone and I have put it inside the case and this is a smart way to put the gimbal inside this box and using that box as a tripod. So let me show you that uh, where I have put this. You can see that there is a space meant for this purpose. So you can utilize that. The good thing about active track feature is that it can be used with rear and front camera both. You can see on bottom left corner there's a yellow color icon that is used for active track. So we need to click on that. Once we click on that, the icon turns to green. Now active track feature is ready to use. For this demonstration, I'm going to use my phone as an object and we will use active track feature with this object. For this I will put my phone in front of the camera and I will draw a rectangle on it like this. So you can see that active track feature is on and if I move my phone that is in my hand the other phone or camera moves accordingly. It moves horizontally and vertically as well. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If you really liked it, please click the like button and share it with your friends and family. In this video, I did not cover the basic features of the gimbal. If you want me to create a separate video for that, please let me know in the comment section and I will create a separate video for the basic operations of the gimbal. In my next video, I will meet you very soon with some more interesting content. Till that time, 
take care and keep enjoying photography.